hi guys in this lab I'm going to copy the CSV file that I have here in my data lake in my container data in my folder raw the name is log CSV I'm going to copy this into my synapse analytic into my uh, dedicated secret pool I'm going to do that uh, th uh, through uh, Azure Data Factory so the first step uh, is to create a copy da data tool I'm, go I'm going to run once I'm going to hit next here I need to, ma I need to make a new connection so I'm going to hit new connection and I'm going to select here my data lake resource Gen 2, I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to select the subscription. I'm going to select the name of the res of the data lake resource. I'm going to test the connection. You can see here that it's successful. So I'm going to create this uh, this link connection. I'm going to unselect recursively because this is just a uh, one time that I'm going to copy. I'm going to hit next. Here uh, you can see in the preview data uh, I forgot to select the the CSV file. you can see here the preview data all the columns of my CSV file I'm going to hit next uh, you need to he uh, select here the first row as a header I'm going to hit next uh, we are now in the destination data store so I need to make a connection to my si si Synapse resource so I need to looking for the Synapse resource I'm going to hit continue here I need to select my subscription I need to select my SQL dedicate SQL pool my database uh, I made a connection here um, to my dedicated SQL pool and I create a table you can see here that is empty I just create the schema for the table so then I'm going to populate uh, this table I'm going to select the authentication type as SQL authentication so I need to get the username and the password you can find them uh, right over here in the overview tab in the C dedicated SQL pool you need to copy the SQL and the name of the username and the password when you create the SQL pool you put that uh, password I'm going to test the connection you can see here that is successful I'm going to create so here I'm going to copy fr from the source to the destination and I'm going to use the existing table in the destination so I need to select my table and I'm, get, I'm going to hit next you can see here the mapping the mapping from the source to the destination I'm going to hit next you can give it a name I'm going to select enable stacking and I'm going to choose my data lake resource
I'm going to use polybase and for that I need to go previously and unselect the type conversion and here I need to specify for the ID and for the date the type of the column because if you don't do that it's going to throw an error so here I'm going to select the date time type of column all the remaining columns are go is going to be bar car so I'm going to hit next I'm going to select polybase I'm going to hit next everything is in place so I'm going to hit next it's in progress I'm going to hit finish here in the monitor view you can see that it succeeded so then when I run the select command you can see here all the columns I need to give it a time for the command to succeed but you can see here that the table is populated so this is all thank you very much for watching until next time